Welcome back to Dead End Gaming. I'm Dead End Dragon, and today we are talking about the last part of fishing. So exciting, I know, yay! So yeah, uh, I also wanted to just say thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Uh, it means a super lot to me that you're supporting me and helping me out. Uh, and if you want to become a supporter, just check out the stuff in the description below. On with the show. So with this last type of fishing, it's called advanced fishing. Now, advanced fishing, you can only do around Friedrich Isle in the sunset sun spec sea. Um, and you also need max proficiency. So if you're not max proficiency, this is something to look forward to and check out because there's cool stuff. And if you are max proficiency, great. This is cool stuff. You should be doing this right now. Okay, I don't know if you should be doing this right now, but it's something you can do right now. Um, and you have to have the title Any Fin is Possible. Uh, that's pretty easy to see. You go to your page. It's on the third page. And you scroll down to Any Fin is Possible on the third page. Click on it. And you just need to complete the achievement to get this title, which is max proficiency. So pretty easy. Uh, it doesn't mean you have to get anything extra. You just need that max proficiency, and then you're basically set. Now, as for fishing rods, uh, I don't have the ultimate rod yet. So I think the flexible fishing rod is better for this, but we'll find out during this episode. Uh, and then all you need on top of that is a special chum right here oops uh the ground fish chum now you can make this using shrimp and ground grain so it's pretty simple to make and you can make a lot all at once and if you do a lot of fishing anyways you'll have a lot of shrimp probably <laughs> so just get that all set and now you just go and fish you right click and you just auto fish um, as for what will come up, um, we'll have to find out. Oh, no. Was that a bite? Oh, yep. We get these big belly fish. Um, they're kind of unique as the fact of they've got something else to them. And if I remember correctly, uh, and you're no you'll notice the fishing time takes a lot longer too. Uh, the interesting thing I find about the big belly fish is, if I remember correctly, it's like the only fish you can get by doing this. Um, you don't get any other fish, to my knowledge. Not from what I've seen or anything. You just get these big belly fish. And this belly of a fish is bulging as if it swallowed something whole. Who knows... Excuse me. Who knows what would spill out of it if it was cut open? Okay, so we're going to open up these fish and see what's inside. Um, so give me a moment. Let me just jump in time and I'll get to when I've got a bunch of these fish in my inventory. And we'll start opening. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, uh, right in here, the Sun Specs C, you just need to be kind of somewhere in the Friedrich Isle. I think you really just need to be in the Sun Specs C. That is located in the center here, and then in the Arcadian Sea, and then this is its own area. You can't just be anywhere in here. You need to be right by Friedrich Isle and have that on the map, and it has to be on your mini map over here. Um, where I think as long as you're in this triangle of some sorts, you should be fine. And we're finished. All right. So out of all those, I ended up getting 51 big belly fish. It isn't, from what I was watching, it's not consistent in being able to get one every single time. But it's still a lot for what, what we had to put in. That's a lot of fish. So now the next part comes up. Let's open them and find out what we're going to get. So we got clubhead spore. So exciting, right? Yay! Okay, there's more. There's lots of different things that this thing can give. So let me use a potion real quick so I got enough flavor. And let me open these real quick and I'll get right back to you.
right. And that's uh, everything. So, like I said, it's pretty random. I've gotten a lot, of, a, a lot of treasure maps before. Uh, so that's one thing that you can get. You can get a treasure map with coordinates. Go to those coordinates, and you can find some buried treasure. It's pretty cool. Um, oh, and dig up a buried treasure. Okay. I thought it was, like, underwater. I've, like, looked for these underwater a lot. Anyways, that's a story for another time. Uh, we've got some blank canvases. We've got lo lots of those. I will admit there's a lot of those that you can get. Um, and you can also use them, I believe, in crafting and craft something new with them and you can just use them for a lot of different stuff yeah see you can use them for an animated frame or the round empty frame you can do a couple things or you can just use it for for what it is blank canvas and put a crest stamp on it um there's these brine bound rocks that's how you get those to regrade some ship components i think that's for the regrade scrolls uh you get some mackerel which is like the best and you'll get some dawn lake flight essence which is super important uh, these clubhead spores, which we originally saw, there's lots of things. And you also saw I was getting silver every single time with them, which is not a lot, but, um, you know, you know, um, so yeah, uh, for what we put into it, I feel like it's well worth it to get back out for, for what you get back out of it, uh, gold wise. And like I said, you can just sell these on the auction house. I believe there's lots of other stuff. There, you can also sell the treasure maps on the auction house. I'm not sure if people can still dig it up, if it's on the auction house while it's there or not, but you know, it's a thing. You can do that and you can just sell these like right onto the auction house because people will need them. People need them for different things. Okay, maybe not don't sell those, turn them into Dawn Lake Light Essence. Those are, those are much better. Um, and yeah. So that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, I hope that helps. And uh, that's going to close off our uh, fishing, all of our fishing stuff, which I'm sorry, but that's all I got right now for fishing, unless they do another update or if there's something in the update that I haven't seen, or maybe I haven't seen everything. If you guys know of something, let me know. But to my knowledge, that's everything you can do with fishing. So hopefully that complete guide will help you out and you can do some of this cool mini game stuff, some auto fishing and get that anything is possible and maybe go dig up some treasure. Be so lots of fun. Maybe that's what I should do next. Fishing hasn't died yet. We need to go dig up some treasure. Uh, so maybe we'll look forward to that in a video in the, in the far future. I got some more plans and I got to get some exploration videos out for you guys. But yeah, if you like the video, don't forget to like it. Let me know you want to see more content like this. And subscribe because I'm still trying to get more content going. It's been a couple weeks off, but we're, we're back. And uh, I'm going to get stuff going, and I'm getting that working on. Uh, and, yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what's your favorite type of fishing. Do you just like to do the plain auto fishing and just do some auto casting while you're at your home base? Do you like to do the sport fishing and do the little mini game and go out? Uh and find all the fish at the sea? Or do you like to be inland and do that? Or what is your favorite type of advanced fishing? Getting those big fish and, and seeing if you can get something really cool. Uh, because there, you can get better treasure maps than this. You can get super rare treasure maps. And like I said, I don't know what these contain. So do you like doing that and going treasure hunting? Let me know in the comments below. And I will see you all next time.